Election day just three days away and the end of those political ads just four days away. That's good news. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, Senator Ron Johnson out pushing for their base to get out and canvas today. CBS 58's Frank Healy caught up with both Wisconsin Senate candidates today. He has the story for us. Hello, Frank. Good afternoon, Bill. As things come down to the wire, there was a theme that was present at both of these events today. Get as many people out to vote as possible. We're holding Ron Johnson accountable on all fronts. He's left us behind, whether it's with abortion access or whether it's his attacks on Social Security and Medicare. That's what Lieutenant Governor Barnes had to say when asked if he's focusing too much on protecting abortion rights and not enough on other issues like the economy. He spoke in front of a group of canvassers in Milwaukee. Barnes specifically targeted Johnson on labor and retirement issues. People's retirement security is absolutely on the line, and we've been uh, we've talking about it a whole lot because Ron Johnson would be more than happy if folks had to work until, they're until they die. He voted to raise the retirement age. Barnes says his family benefited from well-paying labor jobs. He says with Johnson's time in office, Johnson has passed laws that benefit the wealthy, not the working class. To benefit himself personally and his own family. Let's talk about uh, socialism for the wealthy. Later in Waukesha. Let's be frank and honest. The Democrat Party in current hands is destroying this country. Senator Johnson spoke before a crowd of supporters. He spoke about transgender youth allegedly being given hormone blockers without parental consent at school, although didn't cite a specific case. He criticized the Biden administration's handling of immigration, the withdrawal from Afghanistan, and spoke out against defunding the police. We're not going to get help from the mainstream media. They're not going to tell the truth. Johnson also criticized Democrats about election security, calling for more poll watchers from both parties. I want all eyes on the process so at the end of the night, I, I can't explain why Democrats just make it you know, impossible to have confidence in the election. And remember, you can still register to vote on Election Day, Tuesday, November 8th, at your polling place. In the newsroom, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News. Thank you, Frank.